Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Doom, do, 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 do. Uh, 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 You're sleepy, David. Mm, me, of course not. Well, you you sound sleepy. I'm not, though. Darling, you can admit it. It's not unmanly to be sleepy. For your information, I'm just enjoying a quiet evening at home. Does he sound as if he's enjoying it, Mama? Yes, and so am I. Well, enjoying it or not, it's time we all went to bed. Well, go on up. <laughs> Nobody's stopping you. No, thank you. I was only thinking about you. You know it's time you went to bed? Because you have to catch an early train tomorrow morning. Mm. Remember that early appointment, remember? Mm, yes, I remember, but it's hours from now. I don't have to start getting ready so soon. Oh, David, don't be difficult. Let's go to bed. Was she always like this, Mother? Always, David. She never could do anything by herself. And she always inveigled me into doing things with her, whether I wanted to or not. Inveigle. <laughs> That's a nice word. Poor Mama. Poor you. <laughs> You'll be dead on your feet all day tomorrow. I am not tired. Oh, yes, you are, whether you know it or not. Mm. I might as well go to bed. I want to get any peace until I do. Give no, in, David. Give in. It's the easier path to take. Mother, you and I are victims of a power stronger than ourselves. Is that me? I married a governess. Well, I'm putting out the light, children. How clever of you. You two don't want to break your neck up the stairs, will you? Mm. Just blindfold me and do with me what you will. Shackle my hands behind my back and lead me on. <laughs> you do. <laughs> You look so foolish standing around like sheep. <laughs> sheep, she says, Mother. We are lambs. To the slaughter. Bah. <laughs> David, you dope. <laughs> Last chance. Out go the lights. Good heavens, it's dark with the lights off. Bah. You can turn the hall lights off upstairs. Bah. Yes, Sergeant. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No gabbling in the hall, children. The curfew has told the knell of parting day. Gesundheit. Nobody sneezed. <laughs> curfew, curfew. Ooh, Mrs. Brown, your daughter is a dim wit. And she is dimming the lights oh. with it. <laughs> good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow. And if you don't go to bed, you won't wake up early on the morrow. Sweet dreams, children. Good night, Mama. Me? I'm, I'm wide awake. Oh, darling, I'm sorry. Can't you pull yourself together and get sleepy? I doubt it. But now that I'm upstairs, I might as well try to go to sleep. Have you had your glass of milk? Not thirsty. You're supposed to drink a glass of milk, you know. I said I am not thirsty. Then I'm not sleepy, but you're putting me to bed. That is different. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, 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 What's good for me, I must do. What's good for you, you mustn't. The double standard. You've heard of it, certainly. Young lady, as soon as you get into your bathrobe, you go downstairs and have yourself a glass of milk. Oh, all right. All right. On one condition, you'll be sound asleep by the time I get back up. <laughs> You're the greatest little condition maker I ever married. What's fair is fair. Did you lock the front door? Lock the front door? Lock the front door, yes. Who ever heard of locking the front door? Everybody has. Well, not up here in the country they haven't. Nobody locks their door in the country. Why? Why should they? Why shouldn't they? Has a lock on it, hasn't it? <laughs> it's only for looks. There's no reason to lock a door in the country. Nobody ever tries to get into somebody else's house in the country. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. People don't walk around at night walking into other people's doors in Certainly the country. Certainly not, because they're locked. That's not the reason. Well, what is the reason, then? Mm, well, the reason is that in the country it just isn't done. That's Why? There is a lock on the door. It just isn't done. Who says? I says. Oh, that's fine reason. I'm going to bed. I hope that I'll be asleep by the time you get back from your milk. David, have you ever been robbed? Yes, on my wedding day. You have? Mm-hmm. Oh, why do I talk to you? I'm going to get some milk. Bye-bye. Sweet dreams. Thanks, I'll need them. Rock-a-bye, baby, on the treetop. Dum, da, dum, 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 dum. Milk, 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 milk. No wonder I'm so contented. Oh, is that you, Claudia? Mama! Oh, Taffy scared the grass out of my hand. I thought I heard somebody. You did, me. 
Have a glass of milk, Mama? No, thank you. Go on. Do you good? I don't want to be done good to. Oh, you and David. Peas in a pod. <clears throat> Wish we had our own cow. What's the matter with milk out of a bottle? Not good enough for you? Oh, it's so much nicer to patronize your own establishment. David asleep? Said he'd try to be. Just leave your glass in the sink. I'll put out the light. Mm. Oh, good. Let's be quiet now, Mama, in case he's sleeping. Hmm. I think it started to rain. Shh. Rain's a nice sound. How do you like that? After all I said, I forgot to lock the front door. David doesn't believe in it, Mama. That is something else about men. They trust people. Imagine. In the strangest way. Well, David or no David, I am locking the door. And so, to bed. These stairs creak. Oh, David's very fussy about that creak. He says it gives our house character. Try to go into your room quietly and don't talk. What do you take me for, Mama? The chatterbox. Good night. I never said a word. David, are you asleep? If you are asleep, don't bother answering me. Good. You must be asleep. You said you weren't sleepy. But I knew. What was that? David, you hear that? Oh, shh. Down there, you'll wake him up. Go right on sleeping, darling. I'll go see who it is. Oh, such a noise at night. Was that you again? I thought I heard something at the front door. So did I. Shh, David's asleep. Stand back, I'll, I'll find out who it is. Who do you suppose? Stay behind me. I'm older than you are. Stop bragging. <gasps> Sounds like somebody's banging on the door. Are you just going to open it? Certainly. Mama... Let, 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 let me get you a poker. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Say, who, who do you think you are, anyway? Clark Gable. It stopped. Claudia, stand back. I'm going to open the door. Oh, Mama, be careful. The wind sounds so eerie. There's nobody there. That's funny. There is nobody here. Do you suppose we imagined it? I don't imagine things. Maybe whoever it was saw you and got afraid. Thank you so much. You sure there's nobody there? Nobody but the wind and the rain. <gasps> and close the door, Mama. And lock it. I feel very silly. Creeping down here as if I expected to see a ghost and then nothing. Not complaining. I'm glad it was nothing. Where are you going, Mama? Back to bed. Wait for me. Are you afraid of the dark? No, but I thought you were. It must have been the wind. I guess so. I hope so. Funny, my knees feel funny for no reason. <laughs> well, good night, Mama. For the last time, good night, Claudia. Stop imagining noises. Same to you. Mama, did you just imagine a noise? What do we do? I'm going right downstairs and open that back door without further nonsense. Don't, don't you think I'd better wake David I up? do not. I feel like Lady Macbeth creeping up and down the stairs. I don't think this is the way victims act in murder mysteries. Stop talking such nonsense. The weather is perfect for anything, Mama. And it's my turn to go first. It wasn't the front door this time. I locked the back door, too. Don't put on any lights. You know what a stranger to see me in this bathrobe? Is the back door. And it is not the wind. Or our imagination. It's a terrible night for somebody to be out. No wonder they want in. When the kitchen's cold, you stand behind the stove, Mama, while I open the door. Stop acting so heroic. It isn't anything. Well, here we go. Well? You're right. It isn't anything. Let me look. Stand back. Now, you want to get all wet? I think we're all wet already. We're thing, but there is nobody out there. 
Mama, what do we do now? Same thing as last time. Probably the minute we get upstairs, the pounding will start again. Well, this time we won't waste any time. We'll come right down and surprise it. David would have to go to sleep at a time like this. I think we're too foolish women. <laughs> <laughs> you do look awfully silly standing there in your nightgown, Mama. Well, you've nothing to be so proud of either. <laughs> did you lock the door? I certainly did. Do you think I want somebody walking in? There is no somebody, it would seem. Shh, shh, shh. I hear it. Yes, somebody wants to get in again. At the window. Want to stay back here? If there's nobody this time, I'm going to call a doctor. Oh, two straight jackets would be so becoming to us. Somebody in white. A man. He can't see us, can he? Shh. We'll see what he wants. Mama, how are your knees? Knocking. <laughs> Shh. Blasted windows of all the... David! Oh. Only you? Oh. oh. Oh, you you two here. David, you're all dripping, my dear. You're soaked to the skin. I thought you were asleep. Oh, let me in the house, will you? Oh, oh fine thing. Scaring us half to death. Who do you think you are climbing in windows in your, your, your pajamas on a night like this? People in the country don't... Who, who locked the door? It came down twice. Why didn't you just stay where you were? Who who locked the door? I thought you were asleep. Ah, uh, behind my back, huh? David, darling, your teeth are chattering. What were you doing out? It started to rain, so I put the car in the garage. I merely Claudia. walked down the stairs. And... Claudia, I'm putting the kettle on the stove for David. Oh, and Mama Hill, what a hot water bottle, too. Get him to take off those wet clothes. Uh, yes. I, I just want to get to bed. Well, darling... Oh, darling, you are sleepy after all. I'm not sleepy. I just want to be allowed to thaw out all by myself. Ooh, I'm... What was that? What was that? What was what? Oh, that. It was the shutter banging against the window. What a night. Going shopping today? Tell you what you do. Don't get all worn out going from store to store until you're ready to snap at the whole family tonight. Instead, take it easy. Step up to that familiar red cooler during the course of your trek and enjoy the refreshment of ice-cold Coca-Cola. You find Coke coolers in food stores, department stores, all sorts of places these days. They are put there, remember, so that you may shop refreshed. What a night, Joe. What a night. Well, you better get yourself to bed, David. You're getting a chill. I'll be all right. That's what I get for having a conscientious wife. Well, she'll know better tomorrow night. <laughs> tomorrow night won't matter. <laughs> we're going into town tomorrow. Oh? And we're going to stay at Mama's for a few days till Claudia goes to the hospital. And uh, while she's there, where will you go, David? Me? You'll have to wait till tomorrow to find that out, Joe. Well, if I must, I must. See you tomorrow, David. What a night. What a night. <laughs> Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. These broadcasts are adapted for radio by Manya Starr. And the entire production is supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola.